Welcome to Uncle's Channel. Thanks for watching today. Let's talk about a little bit of Team and T controversy because the Technodrome that just got announced just a couple days ago as an Amazon exclusive is not going to be a one-to-one -one reissue of the classic Technodrome from the 1990s. And even though it says on the Amazon page, classic Technodrome playset, this is not the actual classic Technodrome. Now, at first glance, it looks like pretty much identical. It's got the big eyeball up top, you know, little sofa down below, Shredder's little headquarters, Crane's little headquarters, Bebop's little place down there, little spinny thing. Like it looks completely identical. However, on Amazon, it actually gives you your measurements here and it says it's going to be 13.5 inches tall. The original Technodrome is actually 15 inches tall. So somewhere along the line of the Technodrome, it's losing an inch and a half. Now, some people could say like, well, you know, Amazon probably just missed up on here. This is a pretty official looking image for the Amazon page. I don't think that's the case because when you open up the Technodrome, everything is going to look a little bit more crammed, like not crazy crammed, but a little bit more crammed. And uh, you can definitely see from the pictures here, it's not going to be the original Technodrome, at least for the size wise. And so let's just take a, a comparison picture here of the original Technodrome back. And it has this little picture here of the original Technodrome, a little kid, you know, excited to get it for Christmas there. And um, you can see here, like, just take a look at Shredder up top. And plenty of room between Shredder's head all the way to the top of the uh, Technodrome. And then the new one here, I mean, my, my Lord, look how crammed it is up there. And so uh, definitely um, more room on the older one than the new one. And take a look at Donatello down here in his uh, little sofa bed or whatnot. I never had the original Technodrome, so I'm sure it's probably like a turtle you know, torture device or something. But, um, you know, in the old one, plenty of room, plenty of leg room, fits perfectly on the sofa. He could stretch out past the sofa, you know, plenty of, you know, stretch his little foot out there, not gonna hit the side of the wall. In the new one, my Lord, I mean, look, poor Donnie. He's, you know, can't even barely get his legs out without hitting the wall of the Technodrome. Definitely gonna be smaller, at least on the width wise, as well as simply the uh, height that's already been mentioned. And so uh, somebody did mention in some of the uh, Facebook posts I saw about this, that the turtles in the new Technodrome pictures are actually the storage shell turtles, and they're a little bit bigger. But even if they're a little bit bigger, it doesn't account for the amount of difference between the uh, two play sets here. Like if Donatello was just a little bit bigger, he might go a little bit past the bed. He's not gonna go all the way to the wall like we're seeing in this particular image. And then we can look over here at uh, Raphael. Raphael in the uh, new one, you can see him on a little spinner thing right here in front of the uh, prison gates. You can see there's a decent bit of height between his feet there and the top of the gate. And then the new one, like his foot goes all the way up to the top. And yes, it could be the angle a little bit, but um, I think even with the angle, it doesn't account for that much distance. Actually, when you're looking at it, it might actually be a separate bar that's missing on side that gate, inside that gate as well. Um, you can tell me what you think about that in the comments down below, but I believe it is. And then you have Michelangelo over here, and the angle is definitely different from Michelangelo. It's a little bit more pulled out in the new one here. So that one you can't say as much about. But the other two turtles is definitely not the same size as the original Technodrome. But that's not all that we have here. Also, if you look at the individual picture of Raphael spinning around on the picture, let's just look at the spinning action here. Let's draw the little circle around. And you can see as you draw the little circle around, if you actually spin Raphael on the little thing here, he's going to go through the gates. This is not going to work effectively. You can actually spin your turtle um, because it's simply too crammed. Unless they have a mechanism to pull the spinner out a little bit. Otherwise, uh, the spinner is pretty much rendered useless inside the toy here. Also, when you look at the uh, stickers on here, the stickers are not a one-to-one -one remake of the original ones as far as like the uh, size of them. You can definitely see the size inside the original pipe down here is different than the sticker inside the pipe on the other one. Just simply uh, not as large on the uh, new one. And I know some people point out like, why would Playmates go through all the trouble of creating a brand new mold for this when they already had the old one ready to go and they could just simply use it? For this toy and i think it really probably boils down to cost i mean we're talking about like an inch and a half off the top maybe a couple inches off the sides and you know mass producing this thing out to you know hundreds of thousands of products maybe not that many but uh thousands and thousands of products that does add up in plastic costs over time shipping costs as far as like how many you could possibly ship inside of a uh, crate and whatnot and so playmates is probably just shrinking it down in order to uh, so, you know save some money here but even if you thought like that's just simply not the case and it's going to be the exact same model even the uh, latches on the um, actual technodrome are completely different on the new one versus the old one you have a little latch over here on the side it's going to actually you know connect the techn technodrome a little bit better that's absent from the original ones up top the little latching system up there absent on the old one as well and so um, there are some definite differences in these two technodromes they are very very similar and i think if anybody like walked into your room and you know saw this on like a collector shelf and be like oh cool you have the original technodrome they're not going to think anything about it but if you're like a hardcore turtle collector and you just simply wanted to get the Technodrome to display your old figures in, you wanted to look exactly like the original one from 1990, um, you're not going to get it with this exact product. At least I don't think anyway, and I do feel like Amazon has confirmed it by putting the actual measurements on there. I don't, I don't really know Amazon to, um, 
I don't know. And this picture probably came from Playmates itself. So I can't imagine like actually getting the measurement wrong. They could have left the measurement off and no one would have said anything. They put the measurement on here for a particular reason. And I think it's just sort of to go ahead and get it out of the way. Hey, it's not exactly the same, but it's going to be really darn close. But um, evidently, this has caused a little bit of a controversy in the turtle community. I, you know, I follow a few different uh, turtle pages on Facebook and whatnot. Some people are canceling their orders already. Some people are, you know, um, not wanting to buy it anymore, not wanting to pre-order it. And so, um, I don't know. I mean, like, it's, what do you think? Is it still a good product for $80? Do you feel like they, um, they you know, feel like they lied to us? Do you feel like they should advertise it something different instead of the classic Technodrome? Maybe say it like a um, miniaturized reissue? Or do you feel like it's fine to advertise it as is and $80 is still a fair price to ask for this particular Technodrome playset? Let me know in the comments down below. Me personally, I'm not like super surprised because there have been a few changes to some of the figures that have been released. It's probably like missing part of the uh, weapon system they have. Or like when they put out the Turtle Blimp, it had like a, a different bottom part on it. And so there are some variations on some of these reissues. So I'm not like completely shocked, but it is a little bit disappointing because uh, the Technodrome was a highly sought after uh, Turtle item here. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos listed up above and go out there, find a great game to play. Simply have a great rest of the day.